Good morning, it's now day three of the West Island Way walk. It's the 8th of May, it's just gone quarter past seven in the morning. I've uh, left where I camped last night quite early because I've got quite a short day today, it's just 12 miles. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a farm that's got a campsite up the end of Lo Loch Loman. That's where I'm staying tonight, so I ain't got far at all. Uh, just come up this trail, back down there, just back down there somewhere is where the um, this tr this track and the West Highland Way part ways, and I think the West Highland Way goes down there, it goes all the way down by the shore shore side down there. Uh, according to my map, uh, due to erosion, they don't recommend that way. But the signpost back there, that the West Highland Way signpost that was directing you down that way, looked quite a new signpost. Um, so I don't know whether they've fixed the problem with the erosion or not, but just to play it safe, I thought I'd go up this way. I don't want to get halfway along down there and then find I can't get any further. Uh, my map is two, two years out of date, so it could be all right. Right, let's walk on then. It's a bit chilly at the moment, but uh, I'm in the shade at the moment here. Right, I'll do a bit of filming later on. The uh, the track that I was on has now turned into a path. Um, and just before it turned into a path, uh, I saw the uh, the path for where the West Highland Way rejoins this, this path that I'm on now. Um, and again, it was a new, well, it looked like a new uh, sign. So I'm guessing that the, the track that went down by the, uh, the shoreside, I'm, I'm sure that that probably was okay. Because I wouldn't have thought that they would put new signs up uh, if it wasn't. So, uh, but now for the last uh, quarter of an hour or so, it's been through the woods. Every now and again, well, you, you get a, a bit of a, a view. And then it goes back to trees again. And that's... Oh, where is it? There's the path there. That's where I'm going up at the moment. So ever since I broke camp, um, I've been kind of behind these trees and every now and again you do get a bit of a view. Right, let's carry on. Right, I'm uh, still walking along that path here, but there it is beside the um, Loch Lomond. It's been like that for quite a way. Uh, um, must be, I, I don't know, a, a mile, something like that, from the uh, Inversnade uh, Hotel. Uh, and I've just come to a bit where I've seen on loads of people's YouTube um, videos, and I wondered how long it'd be before I got it, if I can just... Now come to this bit. Hang on, what am I pointing that out? I think if you uh, took a slip there, you would be straight in. But I've seen that on from quite a lot of people's uh, videos. <laughs> Better be careful here. I think I'll put my phone away before I try that. <laughs> There's the waterfalls near the uh, next to the uh, Inversnade Hotel. Looking out to Loch, uh, Loch Lomond. Made it to the um, Inversnade Hotel, uh, but it's only it's only just gone ten o'clock in the morning, and they're not open yet. So uh, I I wasn't um, counting on them being open because I, I knew I'm, I'm I know I'm here early. They probably open twelve o'clock for a midday meal or something like that. Uh, but I didn't know, I wasn't sure whether they'd like uh, open out earlier for breakfast or whatever because they've got a bunkhouse here, I believe. Might be wrong about that. Anyway, I've just had a note bar looking at the view. I'll show you the view. Now I've got about a um, another, uh, I think it's about another, another six miles. I think I've just done six. I think I've got about another six miles up to the, um, the campsite which I can't remember the name of it again. It's up the end of the lock here. Uh, something farm campsite, not sure what it's called. 
that's the path the way I'll be going. Ooh. Right, better get on. Oh. I've just passed some uh, American tourists. I met people from uh, all over the world. I've met quite a few Germans. I think I've, I think I've met some people from Poland. Somewhere like that, I think we're. I'm now probably about two miles up, lo up Lock Loman from uh, the Inversnade Hotel and uh, going towards my, uh, my campsite, which should be at the end up here. And it is definitely turning into another hot day. I believe the weather's going to stay like this until Wednesday, where I think it's going to be more cloudy and possibly rain. But we'll have to see. Back where I've come from, there's a lot of trees and a lot of boulders. Uh, there's a lot of boulders um, and stones and rocks that you've got to climb on, climb around. A uh, bit tricky, but not too bad. I've now come to this nice flat bit with no boulders. I can speed up again. Let's get around this tree. Then I'll stop filming. And that's the way I'm going. Right, I'm at the Boffy here. I've never actually been in one yet, so I'm not staying here. Just want to see what it looks like. A couple of platforms there to sleep on. Fire. Big platform there to sleep on. Table and such. Mm, very nice. Not for me though. Right, it's the end of day three. Just fill you in what, what happened. Um, last night I camped just down there on the, the black um, path down there. Uh, that is the original West Highland Way walk but it does say up here in the write-up that there was erosion so now you go along the track go along the track instead uh, and I didn't want to risk it so I just went back to the, the track I went all the way along there oh, stop doing that went up the track instead my plan was to leave the campsite at about where I was camping at about nine so I get to uh, in the Snade, so I get to the, um, the hotel there uh, for about midday, for something to eat. But the um, I left <laughs> I left my campsite at just gone seven o'clock, so I woke up at four, couldn't get back to sleep, and there's no point hanging around. Uh, so I I thought I'd take my chance to see whether the hotel there um, did any sort of like food in the morning, but it was it was all shut up. There we. Uh, there was nothing happening, so I was there at 10 o'clock, so I left there, um, carried on going, and I am now right up the top there. Let's move that so you can see. Right up here in the camps, right up here, the 40 mile mark. Yeah, you can see down on, on this next one, I'm at the 40 mile mark. That's from quite a nice campsite really, it's got a bar, a restaurant, it's quite nice. And I've actually done a bit of washing. I've made myself a little washing line. 
and then tomorrow I think I've just got another reasonably short day, I think I've got another about 12 miles. Oh well, see you then, bye.